In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the green slash blue screen overlay effect on an older iOS device using iMovie. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. Do you have an older iOS device that's not running iOS 15? But you also want to be able to use that green slash blue screen overlay in iMovie. Well, there is a way that you can do it. It's a little bit different, but I'm gonna show you how you can do it. So let's get on with the tutorial. So here we are in iMovie on an iPad that is running iOS 12. So it's gonna look similar to newer versions of iMovie you're running on the latest iPad, but there are some differences as well. So first thing we'll do is we're just gonna create a brand new project. And I'm gonna create movie project. And you're going to notice one of the key differences is that in the media section, you're not going to have backgrounds and iCloud Drive is called iCloud Drive instead of files. One of the things you want to do first is you want to make sure that any of your videos or photos from your iCloud Drive, if you have them, you want to move them to your video section. That's very important because you won't be able to use the overlay functionality if you're going to import videos from your iCloud Drive. And this is only specific to the older versions of iMovie. So I already move all my videos and photos from my iCloud drive to the respective areas such as video and photos in the media area. So first thing we do is we're going to put in our first video and I'm just going to go to video and I'm going to go to recently add it and I'm just going to use this little test video that I recorded. And again, I'm going to tap on the plus sign. And again, with video overlays, you have to have your main video clip first, followed by either the green screen or blue screen video at the very top of this video. So now I'm gonna add my green screen video and I'm gonna tap on three dots and tap on green slash blue screen. And there you go. So this is how you would use the green slash blue screen overlay on an older iOS device and Similar to newer versions of iMovie, you do get the option to either strengthen the removal of the green screen background or drag corners to exclude areas as well. Now let's say you want to move this green screen character to a different location. And as of right now, even with newer versions of iMovie, you can't move your green screen video into a different location. You can't, for example, I, let's say I want to move this little animated character more to the left. I can't do that. So there's a small workaround that you can use to actually reposition your green or blue screen video. And the first thing you do is you're just going to create a brand new movie project. So I'm going to go back to the main project page, tap on the plus sign, movie and create movie. So what we're going to need to do in order to be able to move that green screen video or blue screen video is the first thing we need to do is we need to put a solid green background first and then place our green screen video on top of the solid green background. Now, if you're using newer versions of the iMovie on newer iOSs, you'll easily be able to do that by going to your backgrounds area, and then you're gonna get a bunch of these different types of backgrounds you can use. But on older version of iOS, you can't do that. That functionality is not available. So one thing you gotta do is you gotta look for a solid green background and you could do that by doing a google image search or finding it on a uh, free stock footage website that you can find and all you do is either save it directly to your device or you could just take a little screenshot of that green background and it'll automatically save it into your photos library and once you have your solid green background image it will be in your photos and it'll be right there so we're gonna go to photos and the first thing we do is we're gonna add our solid green background. So I'm gonna tap on the solid green background, tap on the plus sign. And I'm gonna go back to the video section and go to recently add it. And I'm gonna add the animated character. I'm gonna tap on the three dots. And this time we're gonna use picture in picture. Now with picture in picture, we have the ability to actually move the green screen video into a different location. So I'm going to tap on drag to position, pinch to resize function, and I'm just going to move it into a different location. So I wanted this character to be more on the lower left hand corner. So I'm going to do that. And I also want to make it a little bigger. So I'm just going to, so I'm just going to pinch inwards to make the character a little bit bigger. 
and just about right there. And also gonna remove that white border frame around this video. I'm gonna do that. The next thing you're gonna notice is that the green background, the animated character is a little bit darker than the solid green background that we're using. Now on newer versions of iMovie, you can actually alter the, the color on each of these clips. But unfortunately on older versions of iMovie, you can't do that. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna have to use the filters option. You're gonna try to match the solid green background with the green background of the animated character. So you could do as much as you can. So it looks a little bit close enough. So I'm just going to go back to the beginning of the clip. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap done. And we're gonna export this video and save it back into our photos library. So I'm gonna tap on the share button, tap save video and choose a resolution of the video that you want. I'm just gonna choose a 720p and we're gonna wait until the video is finished exporting. You know, the movie was exported to your photo library. Now I'm gonna go back to the projects and I'm gonna go back to the original movie clip. Tap on edit. And I'm gonna remove the original animated character. Go back to video, the recently added. And I'm gonna look for the, the smaller version of the animated character where I placed it into a different location. So use that one right there. I'm gonna tap on the three dots and use the green slash blue screen overlay. And we're gonna wait till the green background gets removed. Now you're gonna notice that there's still some green left, you know, there's like a visible box that you can kind of see. So what we can use is the strength button and we just tap on the green screen clip, move the slider to the right and we're gonna remove more of the green. And we're gonna play it back. So this is how you will be able to reposition and resize your green screen video on an iPad using iOS 12 and using an older version of iMovie. So that's how you will use the green slash blue screen overlay effect on an older iOS device. Now the question of the day is for everyone, did you find this technique useful? If you do, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to your channel. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you get notified of new videos. If you're interested in learning more about video editing, then check out some of my courses. They'll be launching soon. So make sure to sign up for the email list and you'll get notified when those courses are published. And check out some of these other video editing tutorials that we've been making. I'll see you next time.